Welcome to this tutorial about how to color grade in Final Cut Pro 10. I will demonstrate two basic ways of color grading. The first one is simply going into your effects library over here, choosing an effect that you like, for instance this one, and just dragging it atop the clip. You can then set the amount of the effect. That's the easy way. You can also go into your color section and into correction. Now we want to make this little movie look a bit more dramatic than uh, the original color grading allows. Looks like this. It's a truck jumping and having an accident. So what we want to do is go into the color correction and under color I want it to have a bit of a more greenish cast, so we'll drag this one over here, like this, and under exposure we need to make the shadows heavier. So this one we drag down a bit, and also this one, like this, a bit more, like this, and we still need some light, so we'll drag this one up a bit, like this. Now you've only created one of the clips on your timeline. It now looks like this compared to the original, which looks like this. I think this one is more dramatic. So what we need to do now in order to easily grade the rest of the movie is save this setting. We do that by going in here, calling it something, maybe truck, and then we just move on to the next clip and saying that we need to use the grading truck, like that. We do that with all the clips. Okay, let's render it and see how it looks compared to the original. Okay, that's it. It's not that the difference is that big, but I think that uh, our graded version has a little bit more drama to it, and that's basically what color grading is about. Letting your images create a certain feeling in the viewer. Grading manually the way we've done in this tutorial is often more complicated than just choosing a predefined filter, but if you have the patience to play around with the settings, the result will often be more satisfying in the end. 